was because I knew nothing when I got started. Right, I mean, you have to remember, I was 19 years old when I started Facebook, right? So, I, I mean, probably like the, the same age or younger than, than most of you guys. I think you would be young for this audience, and, actually. And um, I knew nothing, nothing about business at all, right? And I didn't even think that I was starting a company. I actually remember when I first came out here for the summer with Dustin because we wanted to learn from Silicon Valley companies. I remember driving up the 101 and seeing all these great companies and thinking to myself, Oh wow, these are such amazing companies. Maybe one day I'll start a company. And I'd already started Facebook, right? right. And, and it like hadn't occurred to me that that was actually, you know. So, um, how did you, know, you learn? How did you learn? Well, just to from, from a lot of the people. people around me. But there's so many mistakes that just come from not. I mean, like I really knew so little at the time. I, I actually I spent a bunch of time analyzing and, and reflecting on why it was that we were even able to do it because all. Like, all reasons suggest that we shouldn't have been able to do it, right? Because all these other companies had way more engineering power and, um, and, and servers and time and money and all this stuff. And I actually think that this is a pretty instructive thing for anything that you want to go do because this is the same property is going to be true for anything that you guys start, is that someone else is going to have more resources and be able to do it. The reason why I think we actually ended up being the ones doing it is because we just cared way more about it than everyone else. We always thought that it was this really important thing and really just like felt in our gut and our heart that we wanted to do it. And you know, early on there were always these skeptics saying that, oh, this can't be a business. We didn't actually care that much about it being a business early on. Uh, but a lot of the reason why bigger companies didn't invest in it was because it wasn't clear that there was a model that would work for it. It seemed like a bad idea. Yeah, and I actually think that that's true for a lot of the best ideas. Right, is that it's not that someone else can't do it, they actually can, and the odds are stacked against you, but I think often that belief in the fact that you just care so much about what you're doing is the only thing that kind of drives you to do it. And, you know, to be honest, that kind of drives me to this day. I mean, one of the, the big emphasis uh, points for the company right now is internet.org. And, you know, for a while we had this rallying cry of, can we connect a billion people um, and, you know, when we started talking about that, we thought that was crazy, right? It was way bigger than any service in, in the world that had been built, and, you know, it was 10 digits long, right? It's like a, you know, it just, it felt crazy. We'd never get to that. But then the thing is, as we started to actually get closer to that, we took a step back and we're like, all right, well, our mission isn't actually to get one in seven people in the world to be connected. It's we want to connect everyone. So it's, um, it's a big issue that only around a third of the people in the world have access to the internet, and that's something that we think that we can do something about. And, so many things go wrong when you're starting a company, and often I think people ask, you know, what mistakes uh, should you avoid making? And, you know, my answer to that question is don't even bother trying to avoid mistakes because you're going to make tons of mistakes, right? And the, the, um, the important thing is actually learning quickly from whatever mistakes you make and not giving up. Right, and I mean, there, there are things every single year of Facebook's existence that could have killed us or made it so that it, it just seemed like moving forward and making a lot of progress just seemed intractable, but you just kind of bounce back and you learn, and um, nothing is impossible. You just have to kind of keep running through the walls.